Hello everyone, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. Now, reboot and restart. This is where I've restarted the game again, with the Steam account, and revisited some of the old places, looking for materials. And in particular, this is Brain Trees. Now, I did do a live stream from the HIP 55534 system, and I'm en route to Planet 7, with the coordinates of minus 17.9 and minus 147.53. Now, as you can see, it's a massive injector crater. Now, these type of impacts spread massive quantities of content all over the body, right? Um, and, and effectively, this is where you're going to find things like brain trees. And with brain trees, not only are you going to marvel at the spectacular, which is brain, brain trees, right? But you're also going to be able to get all these materials. Iron, sulfur, nickel, chromium, carbon, manganese, phosphorus. Germanium, Molly, Molly B. Dinim, perhaps, um, Tin and Technetium. Now, people are going to slag me off in the comments for getting that wrong, because I've had quite a bit of instruction on that lately. So, going down there, not only are you going to see a marvel of what Elite Dangerous can offer you, and, and here are the trees in all their glory and splendor. They don't actually do anything. They rumble about a bit. They do emanate a little bit of a noise, and we will come to that in a minute. But they do allow you to collect some materials and the materials that I've mentioned. And mostly rare materials. Now there is some sound to the brain trees. And it can only be described as like a bit like rhubarb growing if you've ever heard that. So we're going to be quiet and we're going to play it. Yes, so it's like slight popping and crackling and that sort of thing. Yeah, anyway, people have described this as being a bit like listening to rhubarb. Um, I've never listened to rhubarb myself. I went onto YouTube and found um, some clever dicky had been on there and uh, had recorded rhubarb growing. Fascinating. Anyway, FDev have seen it themselves to go and include uh, a sound like rhubarb growing uh, in the game. So this was the first site uh, on Planet 7 with those coordinates. Went in there, got all those materials, got back in the old SRV, back to the ship. And as a result of this then, I found out that there was a second planet in the system that also had brain trees. Well, you can't just go to one and not go to the other, right? You're going to have to go to a boat. So I trundled off, got back in the ship, and then went to another planet. In fact, Planet 8. So here I am on Planet 8 at the following coordinates, 32.81 slash minus 39.64. But here though, however, you're going to find some slightly different materials. You've got iron, sulfur, nickel, chromium, carbon, manganese, phosphorus, cadmium, vanadium, tin, technetium, and zirconium. So there's a few missing. Thankfully, the one I can never really pronounce. But anyway, there you go. So this one, very dark site this time. Not as, as well lit as the other site, though, you know, just as overflowing with materials as the other site was. So it's worthwhile going down there and doing a bit of a mine. Now mining is done simply, as I've already mentioned before and seen in my other streams, of just shooting these growths off the trees. Now, there are generally four types of growth. You've got the cordycep growth, you're going to get G1 materials. You've got polyporous growth, which have you grade 2 and grade 3 materials. You've got mesodean seed pods, grade 3 and grade 4. But the phloem excretion, those are grade 5 materials. And, you know, we'll put all that in the comments anyway. Now, brain trees are generally found on planets between 200 and 500 K in temperature. And like I said, just outside those ejector craters. Now, the ejector craters, as you were seeing in the beginning of the video, have got these huge lines emanating out from them, showing the, 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 the impact of whatever hit them. Now, 
with these trees, you're not going to be able to just log off, log back on and cash in, right? They do drop materials, but only the materials that are shown on the detailed surface scan of whatever planet they're on. Once harvested, the materials do not reappear on relog, right? But they do reappear after a short period of time. By that, we mean between, you know, six, six to 14 days, then they're going to respawn. So you can't just park yourself there and expect to log off, log back on the next day, and then have all this stuff. I mean, if you wanted to sit there and not do anything for a couple of weeks, and then just keep on going in and mine those materials, well, that's, that's perfectly up to you. But you know, it's all done by scooping it up with the cargo scoop, and we all know what we're doing with that, because we've all done our fair share of mining. And if you haven't, what have you been doing? Um, so, exactly, there you are. Brain trees, fantastic. A little bit mysterious, you could say. Alien brain trees. Well, obvious, because we haven't seen them anywhere. What is that sound they're making? Who knows? But if you haven't already done so, click out the sound of rhubarb growing on YouTube, everybody. And I think I'll put a link to that in the, um, in the comment section. So I've been Ricardo. This has been Brain Trees in the HIP 55534 system uh, on Planet 7 and Planet 8 materials to be had to go engineering with everybody so get yourselves over there if you're in the vicinity earn some materials and have fun and marvel at the spectacle that is the game of elite dangerous thanks very much for watching i've been ricardo hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so look for the notification icon and i'll see you soon <laughs>